The European Pharmaceutical Industry Association, FPIA, has started a pilot project with 25 Swedish pharmacies. A 2D barcode, GS1 data matrix, will be used to reduce the risk of counterfeit products within the pharmaceutical sector. What do you expect to be the outcome of this pilot project that you've now started in Sweden? It's important for the Swedish government that confidence in the distribution chain is maintained. We have not experienced this kind of problem in Sweden, yet. We have seen it in other countries and we want to prevent it here, so we're pleased that this kind of project has started. Let's see if it works as well as it seems to. You also said during the press conference that during the presidency the Swedish government are focusing on e-health in Europe. Can you explain what that implies and what Sweden is doing? In short, it's about getting e-health onto the political agenda. Up to now it's been individual civil servants at a lower level who've been running projects and it's essential that politicians shoulder the responsibility for this subject. New technologies such as e-health will make the healthcare system work better. They can provide the right information at the right time for the right person. And patients cross borders, which is one reason. They collect prescriptions in different countries, have an accident abroad and continue medication when they return home. It must all work. It's that kind of e-health project that we have during the Swedish presidency. Using a GS1 article number, GTIN, together with a serial number, will give each package a unique number, which can be coded in GS1 data matrix. This will help pharmacy staff to check immediately that the product is not counterfeit. It works like this. The pharmacist scans the customer's ID. All the customer's different prescriptions are shown on a display. The medicines that the customer wishes to buy are selected and the dose checked. The package with GS1 data matrix is scanned and the display shows if the code is approved. If the code on the package is a fake, that is, that the information on the package is not consistent with the central database common to manufacturers and retailers, the display indicates an error. The product is then put aside for investigation and possible return to the manufacturer. An item can also be check scanned, which shows if all the product data is correct. This is the first time the complete traceability of pharmaceuticals is possible. If, for example, a product is recalled because of some error, the system can quickly trace which customers bought the product with specific individual sequence numbers.